Well, it's that time of year when we start to think about the summer holidays. But with financial and job insecurity, everyone's watching the bottom line. There's nothing cheaper than hitching up the caravan or pitching the tent. And it's come a long way since we were kids. This is the ultimate Aussie family holiday. Well, anyone who hasn't done it hasn't been alive. You need a holiday. Come see me. Well, it's part of the Australian culture. Let's fly away. OK, so you're planning your next holiday and you've got three options. Number one, you can go overseas, but there's the airport stopovers and the jet lag. Number two, you can book yourself into a hotel, but finding one for the whole family is going to cost an arm and a leg. Or number three, you can find yourself some fantastic five-star facilities for a fraction of the cost. On holiday! Here for 10 days, two adults, three children, and it's $260. Where else can you get a holiday for three weeks for just on a thousand bucks? Well, we'll tell you where. The great Aussie holiday is hitting the road, and you can forget about flashy hotels and ritzy resorts. More and more Aussies are choosing the simple life the tent, caravan, and cozy cabins luring families to locations away from traditional tourism that 86% of the Australian population has holidayed in our industry at one time um, and it's something you did growing up and we know that more people now are coming back to it. Ben Yates from the caravan, RV and accommodation industry reckons the reason for the resurgence is simple. It's really a reinvigorating experience for Australians and that's why they're doing it. And it's cheap. You can basically get a week for the price of one yeah. day in a five-star hotel. Yeah, between $30 to $200 a night. But don't think a budget holiday means cheap facilities. Pool, spa, jumping pillow, playgrounds, games room. Pool for the kids with a water slide. There's recreation. There's a recreation room with a big LCD TV. There's wireless internet. Whether it's the ease of camping or the luxury of cabins, the comforts of home now come on wheels. Well, Mandy, this isn't exactly roughing it, is it? Definitely not. It's nice living like this, isn't it, Dad? Yeah, my word. And is this the ultimate Aussie family holiday, do you think? Well, we, we, we tend to think it is, yeah. yeah. Because you've got sort of five-star facilities right here on the beach That's with right. the comforts of home. That's right, exactly. You wouldn't have it any other way? You wouldn't no. have it any other way. So we've scoured the country for the top parks each state has to offer. The Anglesey Beachfront Caravan Park on Victoria's Great Ocean Road, hard to drive past. It's about $100 a night we're paying yep. and, and it's great value, you know, we, we're getting the pool, spa, yeah. paper, pool, yeah. access to games room, spa, the complex, beach, beach the right on your doorstep. Further east, the big four in Verloc Holiday Park is another beachside beauty. You can be camping for $25 a night, bring your family down and have a, an affordable camping experience on the coast. And for something away from the sand and surf, there's the Lakes Leisure Park at Ngambi. In New South Wales, just minutes from Sydney's CBD, is the Lane Cove River Tourist Park. They get the best of both worlds, so they get to stay in the bush with the convenience of the city just down the road. North Narrabeen's Big Four Sydney Lakeside Park will keep the grommets occupied. The children, like if you ask them what would they prefer to do, they'll say the camping than Disneyland or wherever. And then there's Crescent Head Holiday Park further up the coast. In the Sunshine State, there's million dollar views at the Talabudgera Creek Tourist Park on the Gold Coast. We've stayed in the high rise before and, and we sort of think, mm hmm, this is the way to go. The Brisbane Holiday Village has families coming back for more. We used to stay in motels up here all the time, but with this one, caravan parks are a lot more kid friendly. And for a taste of the bush, the Cania Gorge Caravan and Tourist Park is the pick. It's great for the kids to run around. And for a weekend camping experience, you're looking at less than $100 for your camping fees, um, and that leaves plenty of money to enjoy the experiences that are on offer. If the caravanning lifestyle sounds like a dream, for as little as $5 a day, it's possible to drive yourself around the country. Some hire companies need camper vans relocated and are asking holiday makers to rack up the Ks for them at a fraction of the regular rental price. Happy campers, indeed. If I win the lotto tonight, I might be different. I might have a better tent. <laughs> and there's a forum on our website where you can nominate your favourite Australian caravanning destination. Coming up on ACA, the gimmicks, the myths and must-haves when it comes to dental care.